smells really good. This already has a little bit of seasoning on it, as you can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some brown rice. This is already prepped rice. Makes easy if you get some of it actually in. I just wanted something plain because I feel like the flavoring that we're gonna add is going to be more than enough. I don't want to double down too much. As you can see, the chicken already had some fajita seasoning in it. Um, so we're going to have to put some of our own seasoning in this dish as well. And if everything we put in has seasoning, it's kind of going to be a little bit overkill. Probably a little bit too much salt. We try to be conscious of how much salt we use. So then I'm going to add some black beans. Notice the no salt added here. Try and be conscious there. Again, anything in moderation isn't horrible for you. It's the extremes when you're loading up on sodium that leads to some issues. So I'm going to do two cans of these. Perfect. Then we have some fire roasted diced tomatoes here. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to spread, so I'm going to try and get this just a bit more even before I hit it with my spatula. So, this is actually the basis for the dish here. Rachel had seen these when we were out shopping, and she was like, Oh man, I have, a, I have an idea. And then this was born, and here we are. So, see, that's pretty evenly spread there and some frozen whole kernel corn. I prefer this over the can because I think it tastes more fresh, personally. I'm not gonna do the whole bag, simply because I don't wanna, just don't wanna overdo it. You know, corn shouldn't, shouldn't be the dominant one in here, so let's see. It was a 12 ounce bag. I'd say I probably did about two thirds of it. So, and then of course, some Taco Bell seasoning mix. I have to apply this gingerly here. I don't wanna douse it, get a little bit too much at once. So, shaking this very subtly. And again, chicken's already seasoned, so we've got the bottom season, top season. This is going to go ahead and soak right into it. And then, of course, you can't go without the cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. I want to do a good amount of cheese there. do this just with some some greens on the side but just for more for aesthetics I don't know that we necessarily need to put pe pepper for flavoring but because this is primarily cooked I'm gonna take this I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes so I'm pretty excited about it feels hot so I'll take a scoop of that here Sample that. Yeah, it's hot. That's really good. It tastes like a fajita in a wrap.